Our Ted in here with another product review. You are watching LARPcraft. In this review, we're going to take a look at the 11th and 12th century style Sugarloaf Helm. And this is from Getting Dressed for Battle um, over in Europe. It is, these helms are monstrous. They represent a level of protection that you wouldn't see very often on the battlefield if, you know, especially in LARP. Uh, the flat tops are not very often seen and it definitely adds a different style, a more historical style than what you see in a lot of your modern and fantasy medieval LARPs. The chin strap you can see here and the adjustable head piece in here so you can adjust that to your head size. Now you want to pay a special attention to the um, type of band that's in there, how big it is. It can go up to a certain max width and um, that's something to pay attention to. The buckle system is, is uh, very much like their gambesons that they make. The stitching on their leather work is very, very good. You got no missing stitches and that will last a really long time. The one thing you want to make sure you do is if you're sweating inside this, this is a leather product, you want to clean it out and dry it out, air it out. Don't just wear it, sweat in it, and then put it in your bag because that kind of moisture will not be good for the leather and it could cause uh, the leather to deteriorate, mold, that sort of thing. You don't want that to happen. So leather is an organic product. Always keep that in mind for anything you're using in LARP. If you have a leather, a genuine leather, you're going to have to maintain it in some fashion. So putting this on, This is not adjusted to my skull, so I have to take, I literally just took this out of the bag. So I'm going to untie it or loosen it up anyway. Now what I'm going to want to do is with leaving the straps in here, I'm just going to slowly put it on my head till my eyes are through the slits where they need to be, okay? And now, I want to carefully tie that back with that amount of space between the leather uh, crown in there. And then that's gonna hold that helm to where it needs to be. All right, so throw this on again. Now, why would you have a monk wearing a full hum helm? That sounds like an interesting story. That's not a typical scenario. You put this on and this type of a helm can be adjusted in a bunch of different ways. And if it's touching any piece of your face or part of your face that you don't want it to touch, because it's metal, you can form it a little bit or get a blacksmith to actually form it to your head to make it a little bit more comfortable. A lot of the metal armors that you would wear right off the storeroom, the store shelf, isn't going to fit perfect so we definitely recommend even if you buy one of these like this that you have a blacksmith custom form it um, to safely fit on your head any helm any piece of leather any piece of metal especially the metal arms if you are out there for an extended period of time if you're getting hit uh, with larp weapons it's not such a big deal but if you're in full contact type LARPs or uh, like SCA or that sort of thing, you definitely are going to have to have your armor fit comfortably and securely to make it safe. So this is just an incredible piece. Um, it is really neat. Uh, it's very much like the, uh, it reminds me of the Dark Knight or the Black Knight from uh, Monty Python and the Holy Grail. The, one that loses all of its limbs, but uh, that is a very common kind of, has a crusader kind of cross uh, faceplate on there. You're looking at the band, how it overlaps in the back. Very good riveting. And again, metal, if this, let's say you get a rivet loose, you can go ahead and throw this on an anvil or it with a hammer and fix it. Uh, metal is one of those armors that it's more expensive but with an anvil and a little bit of tools, some heat, you can pretty much mold these things into what you want them to be and keep them going for a very long period of time. So 
My name is Artenen with LARPcraft. If you have any questions about this or anything else, I'll post the link to this product in the video below. And ask any questions you might have. And us as the LARPcraft community and the historians and other game players that watch this will also comment on their thoughts and opinions below the video. So thanks for watching. We'll see you in the games.